Very warm Hello, welcome to you both. Shane, you've, sur you've surfed an eclectic career moving sort of effortlessly between musicals and plays and pantomimes and television. What specifically attracted you to this role? Well, Archie it? Wright is at a time where he's literally overnight becomes a dinosaur. And I think with this piece, and certainly uh, the adaptation that Sean's been working on, Archie has a relationship with the audience. And at the moment we're still in rehearsal period and we're, and we're working about how my character Archie has this relationship that the audience, when they first meet him, do we, do, do we like him? No, they kind of loathe and detest him. But by the end, you understand why he is the way he is. And so for those in the audience who aren't familiar with the play or the, the sort of story, could, could you maybe give us a sort of brief summary of the plot <laughs> and what happens? Uh, in, uh, the, the story of the entertainment is set in 1956. It's set in the Suez Crisis, which is the, one of the last hurrahs of the British Empire. How can you make a genuine copper-bottomed British classic drama accessible to a contemporary audience? I think just by, by transposing it to a more recent bit of British history, 1982, the Falklands. But what's also interesting is that in 1982, it's the beginning of the alternative comedy and the comedy store. Interestingly, Thatcher and the comedy store open their business in the same month, I think, in 1979. So, so we've got a fantastic opportunity to have a character who represents the old style of comedy in the moment when it's just about to change. I've looked at Sarah Crowe's performances for many years and always liked her, and she's wanted to to really stretch her, uh, her dramatic muscles in a dramatic role. This came up and I just thought she would be brilliant. Mm. As far as Diana Vickers is concerned, who plays Jean, and I think that, that what's interesting is she's the catalyst for the entire show, and therefore I think she's the voice of the audience because she's, she's the person who points out her father's flaws. Where do the lines get blurred? between me being Shane Ritchie or Archie Rice. Because if I was going out doing stand-up, hello loves, how are you? hello sweet, what's your name? Twinkling the eye. But Archie's dead behind the eyes. He doesn't care what you think. I think what's very moving about it is that despite the fact that the views that he might hold and the culture that he represents might be reprehensible, that still by the end you're, you're sort of moved by his humanity. Mm. There's enough hope in it, I think. And if we get uh, this right, then hopefully at the end you'll go away broken hearted, crying as you make your way to the car park, wishing that it was another act. Um, but I hope at the end you'll go away going, oh, this all. But maybe you, we, we get to look at ourselves. And I think Archie Rice will remind ourselves about how you know, things need to move forward whether we like it or not. <laughs>